Hello students, this is Dr. Ranjali, Assistant Professor in Biotechnology. Today, we learn about the biological significance of carbohydrates in this e-learning session. Carbohydrates play a vital role in living organism. Its importance can be studied under following headings. The first role is the storage role. Carbohydrates serve as storage food material in the living organism and they are the source of energy. They are the metabolic fuel for the living organism. For example, starch and glycogen are present as the storage form in plants and animals respectively. So, plants store the the excess of glucose in the form of starch whereas the animal store the excess of glucose in the form of glycogen and they are the metabolic fuel or the source of energy. The storage form is broken down into glucose units which serves to provide the energy which give the energy for the metabolic reaction for a cell to perform. The next role is the structural role. Carbohydrates like cellulose, hemicellulose and lignin provide a mechanical and protective function to cell wall of the plants. So, they provide the structural framework or the mechanical, the, uh, or the mechanical support to the plant cell wall. It also provides a definite shape to the plant cell. So, we write the different shape for the the plant cell and this is due to the rigid nature of the cell wall which is having the cellulose and hemicellulose. The chitin form the part of the exoskeleton in insects and crustaceans. Chitin is also polysaccharide made up of the, the monosaccharide and that is present in the exoskeleton of insects and the crustaceans. Glycosaminoglycon like hyaluronic acid, heparin, chondroitin sulfate and dermatin sulfate is part of an extracellular matrix that plays a structural role in bacteria and animals only. It is a unit of uh, acidic sugar and amino sugar. So, these are also play an important role in the bacteria and animals and they play an important role as the structural component. They are the complex of the sugar and the the acids or the complex of the sugar and the amino group that play an important role in giving the structural framework to the cell or in the bacteria or in animals. These carbohydrates also play communication role. Carbohydrates are covalently bound to either protein or lipid to form glycoproteins and glycolipids. These carbohydrates when they are complexed with the protein they form the glycoprotein. When they are complexed with the lipid, they form the glycolipid. So, most of the communicative uh, carbohydrates are made up of glycoproteins or the glycolipids. Glycoproteins act as hormones. For example, TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone and erythropoietin and enzymes, phosphatase, lipases, pepsinogen, etc. They play an important role and receptors are made up of either the glycoproteins or the, the uh, they are complexed with the lipid or the integral membrane proteins. We know in the structure of the, the plasma membrane, you will be learning the structure and function of each organelle in the third semester and in the membrane, in the plasma membrane, this is the plasma membrane which will be having the, the two types of protein, intrinsic protein and the peripheral protein. So, these intrinsic proteins are having the, the carbohydrates and the mucins and caderin is the major addition molecule and they are involved in the communication in sending the signal from one cell to another or from cell to the different uh, regions of the, the cytoplasm or the different regions of the, the cell. The glycolipids acts as an enzyme, immunoglobulin secretory uh, proteins and membrane proteins. So, glycolipids acts as the enzymes 
immunoglobulins these are otherwise called as the antibodies they are y shaped uh, uh, molecule they are present uh, they will be secreted by the lymphocytes and they play an important role in the defense reaction they are made up of the carbohydrate secretory proteins are made up of carbohydrates and membrane proteins are made up of carbohydrate they are involved in the various signal transduction reaction in communicating the signal from one part of the organism to another part or from one cell to another cell so communication role is played by the carbohydrate they are either glycoproteins or the glycolipids so this include hormones hormones play an important role in the growth and various metabolic reaction and the enzymes they are very important in very metabolic um, various metabolic reaction and the receptor play an important role in transducing the signal to the cell or to the adjacent cell and the integral membranes present in the plasma membrane also play an important role in sending the signal glycolipids like uh, uh, acts as the enzymes and immunoglobulin playing an important role in the the defense reaction and the secretory proteins are glycoproteinase glycolipids in their nature membrane proteins are glycolipids so this uh, sending the signal or the communication will be done by the carbohydrates in this session we learned few biological significance of the carbohydrates i hope you understood the biological significance of the carbohydrates thank you